As I record this message, we are in the thick of annual meeting season in London. March commenced with the annual meeting of Metropolitan Grand Lodge and ended with the annual meeting of Metropolitan Grand Chapter. Both events were full of joy and celebration and some surprises too. Let me offer a big thank you to everyone who came along and joined in these two important occasions for Metropolitan Freemasonry. And let me offer a huge well done to all those who were invested either as the active officers of Metropolitan Grand Chapter or Grand Lodge, or with well-deserved London honours. The people who received appointments or promotions this year represent a hugely diverse body from different chapters and lodges with many backgrounds and a variety of occupations, a rich variety. We are far from homogeneous. However, there is something that all the recipients have in common. Each one has been promoted or appointed because of what they have given to Freemasonry in the capital and what they will continue to give in the future. Nobody receives London honours simply because of the numbers of years they've, they've clocked up. We look very hard at each person's service and we reward genuine commitment. And so the thanks are genuine and heartfelt to all recipients. But I have a question. The recipients have each given something valuable to London Freemasonry through their meritorious service. But what has Freemasonry given to them? Indeed, what has Freemasonry given to you? Now, this may seem back to front. We are often told that we shouldn't be thinking about what life can give to us, but rather about what we can give to it. Freemasonry, though, is a bit different because it has to be a two-way street. Each of us must be ready to contribute to our lodge, our chapter, and the wider body of Freemasonry, but we must each be searching also for what the organization can give back to us. Otherwise, we're wasting our membership. Freemasonry promotes self-awareness, the growth of our confidence and ability. If we advance properly through this progressive science, we should grow at every stage. The specific benefits will vary, but there are a number of things that should have a positive impact on each one of us. Not everyone comes from a background of public speaking, and many initiates thank you speech on their night of initiation is the very first they have ever made anywhere. Over time, we learn to be confident and capable orators, even with little or no notice, in lodge or out of it. We've learned a life skill. There are many such skills to be learned in a great variety of fields. How many principal sojourners knew they had such dramatic skills before they took center stage in their chapter? And so many professional or domestic events run with added flair and panache because they're organized by someone who's learned skill and confident as a deacon or a DC. And as for serving as master of a lodge, I think we all surprise ourselves by our mastery of ritual and the skills that we pick up during that important year, and there's nothing like delivering a piece of ritual well. Even our social skills will be enhanced by our Masonic membership, because in this fraternity, we meet people from every walk of life as brothers. And what a wonderful gift this is to each of us. What an invaluable life lesson to be led out of the confines of the narrow path and into the experience of a rich variety of diverse humanity and to call each one a friend and a brother. So I end by returning again to those recipients of London Honours at our annual meetings in March. Many were people we call leading lights, the brethren and companions whose membership helps to drive their lodge and bring palpable memberships for the entire membership people who have generously given to Freemasonry, but also draw richly from it. Our honors recipients are people who have genuinely contributed to the life of London Masonry in a huge variety of ways, but also people who have understood how the fraternity contributes back to improve their lives and to encourage their developing skills and abilities. To be part of this fraternity, to be part of London Freemasonry is a great privilege and asset. I encourage you to rejoice in your membership and to let Freemasonry bring you all its many gifts and benefits 
as you and I together seek that self-improvement that allows us to advance daily. If we engage with our craft in these ways, building strong foundations in ourselves, the benefits will be felt by us, by our families and by the whole community. We shall indeed be part of a truly thriving membership, a coherent organisation and fully engaged in our communities. The very pillars of the strategy now carrying us forward to a bright future together as Freemasons in London. <laughs>